This video segment is part of a set of videos on basics in which we'll touch on just the bare essentials of laser measurements you might need to do and the tools that'll help you do them. For measuring power from picowatts to several hundred milliwatts, we use sensors based on semiconductor photodiodes. These make up Ophir's PD300 family of sensors. Their response time is fast. The physical response time is some nanoseconds to microseconds, but with the processing, it slows down to 0.2 seconds. This fast physical response time gives rise to some technical issues when measuring power of slowly pulsing beams. These are discussed in detail in separate videos. A photodiode is very sensitive, in fact so sensitive that we build some basic attenuation into it and then have some more removable attenuation on top of that to give it a useful dynamic range. There are three main types. Silicon for UV visible and near infrared, germanium for near infrared out to 1800 nanometers, and ingas, near infrared out to 1700 nanometers and powers down to picowatts. There are various subtypes that round out each part of the family for different power ranges. There are also some specialty PD300 sensors, such as the PD300 CIE for photometric measurements of illuminance in units of lux or foot candles, or the BC20 for measuring power of scanned beams. Ophir offers these sensors in two configurations, off-axis wand and round for applications requiring the sensor to be mounted on the same optical axis as the rest of the optical setup. There are also various accessories available, including fiber adapters, special 7mm and 3.5mm apertures for CDRH laser safety measurements, etc. The specific choice of sensor model depends on the details. Ophir offers a tool called the Sensor Finder, which does most of the thinking for you and offers the correct solutions for your laser. You can find it on our website. Contact us to see how we can help you with your application directly through our local representatives or via our website.